Grade 5 Math, number 10.3. Convert Customary Weight. We can compare and convert customary units of weight to each other. Customary units are the U.S. standard. Most other countries use metric. If we had five pounds of flour and needed to figure out how many ounces it was, we could build a table because one pound equals 16 ounces. We could make a table showing that two pounds is 32 ounces and increase it by 16 each time. Then we'd see five pounds is equal to 80 ounces. We could also use a model so that we have one pound for each 16 ounces to see how much it would be and then we could multiply the 16 times 5 to get 80. Either way, we'll get our 80 ounces. Emma's truck can tow a maximum weight of one and a half tons. How many pounds is that? Well, 2,000 pounds is equal to one ton and we know one and a half is equal to 1.5 so we can multiply 2,000 times 1.5. We multiply the zeros, and then we multiply the 5 times the 2 and get 10. We multiply the 1 to the zeros, and then multiply the 1 to the 2. When we add them up, we get a 3 with 4 zeros. But knowing that there was one decimal point in the equation, that gives us one hop over for a decimal point, that we put into the product. That gives us 3,000. So one and a half tons is equal to 3,000 pounds. We can multiply to convert large units, tons, to small units, pounds. If we had 9,000 pounds and wanted to know how many tons it was, knowing that 2,000 pounds is one ton, we could just divide because they're both thousand with the same amount of zeros, we could divide nine by two and we would get four and a half. See, two times four is eight, two times four and a half is nine. Two of the halves makes the extra one to make a nine. So we can divide to convert small units to large units, pounds to tons. See? So 9,000 pounds is four and a half tons. The Seattle Space Needle was built for the 1962 World's Fair. It took 467 ready mix concrete trucks, about 12 hours to place the 30 foot by 120 foot foundation. The foundation weighs 6,000 tons, not pounds, tons. So how many pounds is that equivalent to? Well, one ton is 2,000 pounds, but we've got 6,000 tons. So we multiply 6,000 times 2,000. We get 2 times 6 with 6 zeros. 2 times 6 is 12, and we add the 6 zeros that are in the problem. Believe it or not, this works. Did you know that if you multiply 100 times 70, that you could just say 7 and 3 zeros and do mental math like that? Yep. So because we're multiplying a 6,000 and a 2,000, we just make it 12 and add the number of zeros. That's 12 million pounds of concrete in the just the foundation of the Space Needle. All right, so now we have less than, greater than, or equal to 34 ounces or two pounds. Well, 16 ounces is one pound, so that means 32 ounces is two pounds. So which way should our sign go? Which is greater, the 34 ounces or the 2 pounds? If you said the 34 ounces, you're correct, because 32 is equal to 2 pounds. We've got 2 ounces more. Which is less than, greater than, or equal to 5,500 pounds or 5 tons? Well, 2,000 pounds is 1 ton, so that means 4,000 pounds is 2 tons. That means 6,000 pounds is 3 tons. So guess what? Five tons is way bigger than 5,500 pounds. Eight tons or 16,000 pounds? Well, one ton is equal to 2,000 pounds. That means eight tons is equal to 16,000. They're equal. How about here? Four pounds or 68 ounces? Well, one pound is 16 ounces. 
2 pounds is 32 ounces because we double it. 3 pounds, we add another 16 to it that becomes 48. 4 pounds is 64 ounces. Or we could have just done 4 times 16, right? We could have done a multiplication problem. And we could see that the 4 pounds is 64 ounces. So 68 ounces is more, isn't it? So just remember, you can multiply to convert large units like tons to small units like pounds, or you can divide to convert small units like pounds to large units like tons. All right? Or you can even try doing it this way and just stacking them to find the increments to help you, all right? Or you could even use models, like we did in the front here, all right? So just remember that 16 ounces is equal to a pound, and that 2,000 pounds is equal to one ton. But also, this was not in the book, 16 drams is equal to one ounce. And I just wanted to mention that because I believe you should know that drams exist and that there t it takes 16 of them to make a little ounce. There's also a thing called a stone that is equal to 14 pounds. 14 pounds equals one stone. So it's not in the book, but it doesn't hurt to know it, right? I'll see you next video. Keep up the good work. Bye.